morning, everybody. I can't believe today is the last day of June. I kind of have been slacking with vlogging this morning because it's 10.15, 10.20 actually. I am taking Alice to swim class. Alvin had, you know, taken care of Alice this morning, so I was able to sleep in until eight, um, which was really nice because I was up playing games with my friends last night. Oh my gosh, the supermarket simulator, it is such a fun game. I am loving it. Like, it feels like I'm at a job, but I always loved working like a cash register and, you know, like stocking and organizing. I mean, yeah, I actually really loved a lot of the jobs that I worked. I always worked in like food and some of my favorite jobs were in fast food, especially working drive through like fun fact about me. But anyway, so this game, you're literally, you have this like store and you have to like order the, like your stock, you have to put it on the shelves, you have to set the prices, you have to earn money in order to buy different products, like more products, so that way you have a variety of things. You have to buy shelving and refrigerators. You can hire people. I'm not even like that close yet, but since you can't hire people yet, you are the cashier. And that's like my most favorite part is literally like checking people out and then like taking their cash or their credit card and like you have to give like correct change and everything. Oh, it's so crazy I'm playing a game like that. But it's so, so fun. So I hope I get to play a little bit more later today. And it's like kind of a chill game. Like there's not a time limit. You don't have to like, you know, quick and rush and get your customers out. It's it's pretty chill. And so I could definitely listen to an audiobook or a podcast while I'm playing this game. I was actually like talking to my friends while playing it. We were all playing it. You can't play it together, but we were all playing the same game and like just talking um, to each other. So that was like super fun. This morning so far, we just had like coffee. We had some of the quiche for breakfast. And then I ended up putting away the rest of Alice's clean clothes because I didn't get to do that when she was like down for a nap yesterday. And then I got ready for swim class and stuff. So I do need to edit my video. I have plans to make the homemade lasagna today if I actually can do it. And then I do need to meal plan for this upcoming week and starting keto. I feel like I actually have extra meals and leftovers and stuff. So I wouldn't have to like actually start tomorrow because you know, we're gonna be using up the rest of our food. I think like by Tuesday or Wednesday, I would actually be able to officially start keto and hopefully be on a really good health journey.
Ella's eating her first lasagna and it's made with mommy's homemade lasagna noodles. Yum, Alice. Is it yummy? Yeah, are you sitting and eating? Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna go and check on my little free library because it's been a while and I'm sure I have to fill it up. I brought some bookmarks to go put in it. Sorry, my shoes are squeaking. All right, so let's see. Oh wow, someone put Good Night Moon in here. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's put the bookmarks in here. All right, wow, Nine Lives is still there. That's interesting. That's still there. Okay, we got Touch the Sky. House of the Scorpion, that one was already there. Oh, this one's cute. Maybe I'll keep this for Alice. I already have Goodnight Moon, so I'm gonna leave that in there for another kid, but I'm probably gonna take this one for Alice, and then I still feel like I should leave those two in there, and then I'm gonna come grab some books to fill in the other parts. There you go, you can have that one from the Little Free Library. What a cute little tiny book. You like it? Okay, I picked a few to put out there. I'm gonna do Eat, Pray, Love, because that just sounds like a perfect summer book. North of Nowhere, which is a mystery. I'll do Untamed. You made a fool of death with your beauty. This is actually an arc that I got a couple years ago. This is another arc, um, The Last Victim for True Crime. So I feel like we have a good array of all different genres for anybody that's looking for beach reads. So I'm gonna go throw these out there. Okay, this is a look at the stocked library. I think it's another good one for summer. I feel like, you know, people are gonna love it. So there's that. My lasagna turned out so good. It got a little dark on top because we just had it in the oven for, I guess, a little bit too long. But the noodles, this is the first time I made homemade lasagna noodles. They turned out so incredibly good. I hope that my neighbors also liked it because I took them like a vegetarian version and then this one has meat in it, but so good. And now we have leftovers for the next few days. What's down there? Yeah. Graham? I was just finishing editing my very last vlog from June 30th. It is just crazy that we pretty much spent the entire month together. Even me going back and looking at like what I was doing June 1st, 2nd, 3rd. I mean, it just feels like almost a lifetime ago, but then at the same time, as if it just flew by. I feel like too, with daily vlogs, I really can see the growth in myself, like things that I might've been, you know, working on or struggling with, or that were challenging at the beginning of the month. I feel like now here I am at the 1st of July and I'm like, oh, I feel so much confident about something or, oh wow, like I got over that hard period of time. I feel like that's just a good thing to be able to look at that like, no matter what you're going through or dealing with, most of the time, it's always just going to be a certain season of your life and I know that some people commented about me talking about the newborn stage when I was just talking about that the other day and I really think for like a first-time mom or at least for me being a first-time mom it was so hard to think about me just being in a certain stage me being in a season and that that will never last for forever so if you're going through a hard period of time whether it's the newborn stage or whatever just know that like eventually you will get out of it when we do start 
our IVF to have our second baby, which I'm hoping is going to be next year. I feel like I'm gonna try and appreciate, you know, the hard parts of the newborn stage just more, knowing that, okay, this is only gonna last a certain amount of months because I know with Alice, I was like terrified. I was like, what if she does not sleep through the night until she's like 18 years old? I was like, how am I gonna do this for 18 years? But just know, stages don't last. Even with Alice, I looked back at like June 1st and she was like very clingy and me trying to vlog. She just wanted, you know, mommy all the time. And you probably have seen her progression with things that she's learned throughout the month, but also like that stage comes and goes. You know, maybe she was dealing with teething, Maybe we were just having a rough day. It just doesn't last forever. I just wanted to say here at the end that I am incredibly thankful for every single one of you that just watches my life. I mean, to think I'm not like any important famous person and to think that so many of you tuned in every single day to watch my new vlog, to comment on my new vlog. It just makes me feel like so appreciated because I spend a lot of time filming my life and I love doing it because I love the memories. Like looking back for myself, I absolutely love it. It does take a lot of hours to film and edit and I just get like so much more of a reward when I see people comment, when I see them tell me that they watch my videos, when they say that they're so sad that daily vlogs are ending, when they say that I'm their favorite TV show. Like I thought that was such a cool comment. So I just want to say a big thank you to all of you that watched all of my daily vlogs this entire month. Also for all the advice that you gave throughout the month. Just to end this video, I would love to hear what your favorite vlog or part of a vlog was. Whether it was a favorite recipe that I cooked and you just enjoyed watching me make it, if it was something that you thought was funny that Alvin or Alice did, like I just would love to know because it really makes me happy to like, you know, know the things that make you guys happy. And then before I say goodbye here, I would also love to know if there was any specific video, like maybe I didn't go in depth for something specific for the daily vlog. So I am getting my kind of schedule ready for the month of like July and August. So I would love to know what you would like to see more of. Like I know that I don't do in depth things with the daily vlogs just because it's, you know, a full day of content that I have to fit into, but I am planning on trying out the cloth diapering here in July. I'm also going to be doing keto. So if you want specific videos about those two things. If you needed an in-depth cleaning video, if you needed an in-depth hair routine video, I mean anything like that, just let me know. And then also what type of reading vlogs you're looking forward to. I think I have some plans for July, but I don't think I have any themed reading vlogs for August. So if there's anything specific that you want to see, definitely let me know. I will say that is the easy part of daily vlogging is that because I'm just filming my day, I don't really have to think so much ahead of what content I need to put out. It's just like, well, whatever I'm doing today is what is going out there. I do try and do a lot of like fun things in my daily vlogs. So I was really busy in June just because I was like, let's go to the aquarium and the children's museum and let's do all this stuff so that we have content. But at the end of the day, it's easier than having to like figure out a whole content schedule. So yeah, I feel like I need help with some of the content in the future, but thank you again for watching and I will see you guys actually in a couple days because I already have a video going up. So bye everyone.